do you know about African songs? The artist, the lyrics? Entertainment Vibes is here to take you through an exciting ride of African songs, not just Sierra Leone, but the entire Africa. Join me every Friday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. and repeat on Saturday 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Star Television Channel 21. As we can dance songs all around Africa, here is a tip of an ice bag. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Entertainment Vibe Show on Star Television Channel 21. We're sorry for the breaking transmission. As I was saying earlier, with me in the studio, I have a beautiful young lady and a fine, handsome gentleman that will be discussing on their careers as entertainers. Who's no less a person, but a big girl, Saidu, a live band singer, and also Osita Pascal. Um, uh, who, who was born from a Sierra Leonean mom and a Nigerian dad we will be talking exclusively on your careers so let's go for a short break I am your host Janet and when we come back we'll kick start the show proper how well do you know about African songs the artists the lyrics entertainment vibes is here to take you through an exciting ride of African songs not just Sierra Leone, but the entire Africa. Join me every Friday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. and repeat on Saturday 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Star Television Channel 21. As we can dance songs all around Africa, here is a tip of an ice bag. <laughs> Entertainment Vibe Show on Star Television Channel 21. As I said with me in the studio, I have a young, beautiful young lady who is no less a person but Abigail M. Saidu, popularly known for the stage name Melody Joy and also Osita Pascal, popularly known for the stage name DJ Cost Global. He's also a dick jockey and a producer. So we'll start with the lady. Hello Abigail, you're welcome. Hi, hello. Yeah. And of course to my people. We know that you go joy in the melody. It's nice having you. <laughs> As you. usual, you have Thank the vibe. You. So, and Osita, DJ Cost Trouble, you welcome. Uh, yeah, um, my name is DJ Cost Trouble. Um, name Osita Pascal, but stage name DJ Cost Trouble. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, it's nice having yeah. you. Yeah. So, as the saying goes, ladies first, we start with you, Abigail. You know, having your bio, you are not just only a um, live band singer, you're also a single mom and also a student. I mean, how have you been balancing this career? Ah, uh, it's a whole lot going on with Melody and of course it's good because it's challenging. I love challenges because I'm a mom, as I say. I know. A mom of a very beautiful daughter. That's a whole lot of a job but then. As I say, it's quite wonderful going on the journey with, of life with somebody who's got your back, who's, who will tell you, Mommy, you can do it, Mommy, you're fine. So I'm a student as well, um, third year student at Fabry College, and of course, an entrepreneur hosting um, beauty pageant shows. I hosted um, Miss Wilberforce last year, and of course, it's going to happen this year, and I'm hosting Miss Diamond right in Connor. Mm -hmm. next month and of course a live band singer and don't worry i'm coming with my first single sooner or later okay, i don't want you to ask me when no. <laughs> i want to say when when soon pretty soon i don't want to give time i just want to pop out there like that all right so i mean how did it all started you've been a live band singer um it's all started at, you know we all grew up from the churches and of course singing in the church it's been an amazing amazing time giving myself out to god and then when i got out of because i was married when i got out of the marriage it was really really challenging and i used my talent i use me being a singer and with a keyboard just a keyboard i had back then i started 
fending for myself. I started without a pay, going out, doing music for people for free. And I remember the first show I had to go and sing it was for the Sick Picking Project, um, okay. all thanks to Ishmael um, Morgan Heritage. He invited me and he paid me 300,000 in at that time and that was huge <laughs> for you and that was a thing for me but guess what i did i gave back to my keyboardist i said go and use this money i didn't eat anything i didn't take anything from it i said go and have it get some more um battery to the keyboard and see what you can do with it and since then i started having a lot of calls come and sing here come and sing here and that has been the transformation for me and that has brought me where i am today okay so uh, i the last time I had to meet you was at Mams Beach Bar Restaurant and it was amazing because I've witnessed your performance and all of that. But I can say, how was the transmission from church, for me being a church singer and now being a sacral singer? It's, it's all about the mindset. Okay. You know, a lot of people think um, worshipping God is um, being uh, under bondage or under slavery. No. Even the Bible says, say, I will bless the work of your hands. It's what you were known for that the Lord will bless. So I used what I have to get what I want. And what I have is my gift, my talents, which is singing. And I don't do immoral songs. What are immoral songs for you? If you don't call the name of the Lord, no. Immoral songs are songs that use abusive languages or are not proper for the hearing of kids or people who know what they're doing. So I don't do such songs. But then all the songs I do is empowering people or transforming the lives of people. So that's what I do. And songs like people getting connected emotionally connected because that was what you did on february 14. <laughs> well it was february 14 so yeah what, i can work on it all right so i'll hold you there for now so we'll bring you into the discussion dj cause trouble yeah. you know when i read your bio you said you had the sierra leonean moment also a nigerian dad yeah, yeah, how yeah. does it feel going up from two different nationalities of people yeah, um, it feels good. It feels very, very good um, because um, you know the Creole, the Creole and Pidgin English are quite similar. If you if you speak Creole to a Nigerian guy or girl, like he's going to understand you, but he's not going to be able to understand the strong parts like was, you know, those kind of yeah, okay. <laughs> he's, he's, he's still going to understand you. And um, um, I love okay, when I came here. I came here twenty nineteen. Um, to take over my dad's business because he's into this car decoration and something so that's why I'm doing the car decoration business with um, the DJing so I'm just trying to you know switch together so like um, um, this is here. I, mean, I love I love the tourism here and um, Nigeria um, I love like the tourism like what I mean tourism I love the beaches I love everything about Sierra Leone yeah. So ever since you were born, are you saying your first time coming to Sierra Leone was in 2019? Yeah, yeah, 2019. All right, so you lived all your life well, in, in Nigeria, in Nigeria, yeah, in Nigeria. Um, with your father. Yeah, my father. So how did your father welcome the fact that you're now recording as the producer, or let me say, an overall an entertainer? Okay, okay, he's not, he's not, okay, let me just break it down. Like, he's not, he doesn't like the idea of me doing DJing, but DJing is like my passion. It's something I love doing, like, I, I just love music, so like it's something I love doing. But him, he doesn't like it. He just want me to take over his business, you know, sell But like I'm trying to let him know that hey, this is my passion. But now he's trying to understand because he's seeing the um, shows and streams and audio mark and stuff like that. So he's still understanding. <laughs> okay, being a big jockey, most times people have this mindset that. These jockeys or DJs are not serious. They are yeah, these and yeah, How have you yeah. been coping with that? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's normal. It's normal because uh, ever since when I started the case, I first of all started DJing um, 2007 when I got uh, um, a PC platinum a PC from. You know, I was I'm into computer science, so I got a PC. So then uh, I saw I saw um, a DJ software, virtual DJ. So that's when I started trying to you know understand the djing and, and and everything so after then like um i started djing i like taught myself how, you know, to, how, play, how, how to play how to mix everything so like it's not been easy but thank god 
All right, so um, have you played outside or you just played in your studios? Uh, I've, played, um, I've played in Nigeria and I played in Ecofest this last Ecofest. Yeah, I was part of the DJs that I was able to play for um, Peace Square and, um, and um, Gucci. Yeah, I played for Gucci too. So it's been nice, it's been nice being here. Okay, so irrespective of the fact that your father had not welcomed the idea, yeah. but what about your mother? My mom, my mom, my mom loves the idea. She loves the idea. She loves music too. But my dad, he's into this business. Yeah, you know, know always daddies dad, are like dad. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he's an Igbo man from Nigeria. And you know, Igbos, you know, they love business. Like if you go to Nigeria and ask for Igbo people, they love business. So it's just two business, two business, two business. But I'm trying to try to um, mix two of them together. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay, all right. So we're coming to talk about your collaborations with other artists. That's okay. a recording artist. Yeah. So, a melody. I mean, you mentioned earlier that um, you were married and I later. Was. So I know, right? So, what was it? What was the challenges? You being a married woman and now you. Oh, I really don't want to dive into that much. But then it was also um, a learning process for me because a lot of people who sees me now, they see the strong woman, they see, they kind of like, how are you able to get here and what's, like, they all ask, this maturity thing, where did you get it from? And now, like, 10, 8 years ago, I was into something that got me this strong and this person you were seeing. And I want to say it was a learning process, it was a learning ground for me to become this woman, strong for my girls, strong for the girls around, because I do advocacy as well. Um, I told you I am the CEO of Melody's Heart and Corporation. Yeah. It's into so many things, the business, the music and every other thing put together. So I am strong for the girls around because I am there to advocate for you, but girls in particular. So I think the marriage was, though it's ended up being this, but it was a learning ground. Yeah, I can see that. I can see you being a strong woman because these days of our generations, you know, people judge you by a lot of things every and, day, and every time. All right, so let's talk about the Melody's Heart. What is this all about? Okay, Melody's Heart started when I stopped working for um, Purposeful because I was working for Purposeful and Asthma James Foundation. Mm -hmm. And when I stopped working, I get myself back to school and I started seeing the challenges girls are going through. It's based on the passion, you know, growing up as a young um, African girl there are a lot of challenges not even girl because i'm here listening to his story he's he's got this passion he he's got what he really wants to be into but because of the mentality of our parents and the people around us we're not able to really become what we want to become and it's quite challenging even us um hosting the shows organizing the pageantry it's quite difficult to have the girls come in confidently or to have their parents bring them on board or to have the people embracing it except for us now bringing the changes in we know when we're organizing the shows we have some criteria we have to look for we have things we we say and we make sure we do because coming to a show and telling people you will have to win this and at the end of the day don't give them yeah. it's quite um, what can I say? Yeah, yeah. and degrading yeah. for the people yeah. coming into the contest. So you, it, at the end of the day, you just have to look out for all those people and tell them this thing you're seeing as a child's play is not a child's play. It's something you can make a whole lot of. So I am here standing for these girls, this boy who is out there, um, not being able to stand strong for what they believe in so basically we provide for them we provide um, mentorship programs we provide um, basic um, capital to see them start what they really want to start we i told you we hosted miss robert force the winner she's doing well she signed her first um, um contract with afrisel um mm -hmm. two weeks ago so these are some of the opportunities these are the opportunities we were looking out for people seeing me now they're like have you ever been into pageantry no i have never been into it i wanted to be into it if i was this girl who was encouraged from the start to become who he or she want to become then i would have been great but then because i was deprived i think there are a lot of others who i will help to be what they want to be so you know people out there that will might be watching or listening to you they will say this lady has passion and this lady has been emphasizing on things they want to do so what was this thing that you had passion for and you were not given the chance or encouraged to of course music 
Okay. Music, music, um, like I have been into music since forever and I have not been encouraged to become who really I should become to in music. Your yes, dreams. because looking at the live band, I'm just now struggling to, you know, to be known for it. But then if I had started it Way or my back. parents had, yes, I would have been great in it. But then just like I have said it, you yourself into it, you have to know what you are yearning for and put the effort then people will embrace what you're doing it's not easy especially this part of the world Sierra Leone Africa of course definitely but then it's not easy to leave your dream so basically you have to struggle each day and really have a strong mindset to carry on in that. yeah because if you don't have a strong mindset you'll be intimidated and all right so um I'll come back to you Melody so DJ cause trouble, you know, at first you started as a dick jockey yeah. and now you are a recording um, artist. So, what brought about the inspiration? Okay, um, in Nigeria now, like, we have a lot of DJs that, you know, DJ Spinel, he has a lot of songs and artists and everything. I'm not, I'm not saying that I just want to be like, you know, DJ Cardi is still the same thing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I love, like, I love those inspirations. Mm -hmm. So, I, I just, I wanted to do something different. So that's why um, I have a new song with um, G. Reeves, the guy that did medicine, New Man Medicine. Mm. Yeah, so I have, I have a new song with him. Is so it out? Yeah, it's out now. It's out. Mm -hmm. But the video is not out because I'm trying to stack up for the video. So, how soon are we expecting the video? Uh, this year, this year, probably this year. Alright, so um, you collaborated with Pete Weezy and, yeah. and Next. On the fake CC song. Yeah, so yeah. how was the collaboration? How did you come to know these guys? Okay, um, that was my first song. That was, I think, that was um, twenty twenty. So that was my first song. So um, there's this guy Oscillation is is in Tanzania. So like I did a I did a mix for him with his with his songs. So he he did me a favor by giving me a bit like the fake CC bit. Mm -hmm. So and. Um, um, Pitsweezy, Pitsweezy is my friend. I met him on Instagram, so like and Nick too. Mm. So that was where uh, I was like, okay, these guys have good melodies, good voice, and everything. So they came here and they jumped on it. So what is the song all about? Fake CC. I mean, Fake CC, Pitsy CC, shake your back up, pretty lady. It's just like as if you seen the girl and you like you like this girl and you like come vibe with me, you know, that kind of vibe. Yeah. Like how guys see Melody performing on the stage yeah. and they're like, yeah. I yeah. like yeah. this lady. Yeah. And yeah. our performance yeah. that night, yeah. maybe yeah. I yeah. can get yeah. enough of yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I can yeah. see that. So viewers with me in the studio, I have Melody Joy, Abigail Saidu, who is not only a mother, an entrepreneur, an advocate for women and girls, and so much more. And I also have DJ Kostrabu, a producer, a dick stroke, and also a lot more. Let's have our video for this edition of the Entertainment Vibe that is done for us by DJ Kostrabu featuring Pitweezy and Nax. And this one is called Pretty CC. Let's have the video and we'll be right back.
get belly, me no go ever run. As I enter, the boys then call oh mental. I see you at the center. It was an accident. Oh, I'm slow down. Me body now like snowman. Me papa now been soldier. My mama lovely woman. I'm so you wanna get crazy. Wanna call me a little baby. Get around. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? DJ cause trouble to buy. Are yeah. you ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Spare me the mic. Who get the keys to team to the guy? You know, so the vibes is right there on you. You know, the mouth is on the back stand. You know, the kids are coming on you. You know, me going like drug addiction. Check this on on your radio station. I know, Miss T's beat your expectation. I'm on the look, he's still a major. I got a friend in an American. He can make good feeling, make a meditate. Why do activate, make a activate? Green light. Mr. Mumbas, they call me Flo. Give a BBC, she feel I'm in a so. Father Christmas with three oh oh. On the jet, on the bed, for the flow. Oh oh oh. You never see nobody bad. My concorde, can I stand like that? Anything fat for my jeans, plus rap. Make a know to talk, may they carry my matter. No. I bang na me corner, no they rush, I they wait time. I no say go up in our later. Dark skin queen with the thing that sweet chocolate. He say before in Kokoro, say in Kokoro, sir. It's okay if you ain't it for the bread, you go fall. I'm not even need to take you to the edge. I'm blowing up her brains with a bench. Make sure they put her hands on her chest like she's singing out the pledge. DJ Cost Trouble and also Freaky CC, DJ Cost Trouble featuring B2BZ and Nax. So, um, DJ Cost Trouble, you know, having all this mixing, most times when we go out, we just see DJs playing songs and we dance to the vibe and all of that. How do you guys, how do you put all of this together? Yeah, um, okay, we, we, let, let me just say, like, we think how you guys think. Like, okay. we, we know the kind of music you guys like. That kind of vibe, like the song that's playing, we, we try to we try to search and know the song that's vibing, like the recent songs, songs that you guys, okay, because right now, I know the song that is vibing right now, um, here in Sierra Leone, Snack. Yeah. Uh, that kind of, so if you're a DJ, you don't have that song on your playlist, that means, you know, you're sleeping. You're sleeping. <laughs> so you're supposed to know, like the recent song, the song that people love to hear, you know, that kind of vibe, you just have to know. You know, most times I have people saying this one is too low, this one is too high. How do you, yeah, you have yeah. this all together? Okay, okay, because you can't just jump from a low tempo to a high tempo. Mm -hmm. You have to go from a slow tempo, then you go high. Or you go from a high tempo, then you have to try and switch down to low tempo. Just like, you just have to blend with the vibe of the people, you see. Okay, talking about vibe and blending, you know, most times I've heard people saying also, this is holy days and this is recent times and people say no this song should be played in the morning while other people say this song should be played at night so which are the songs i mean <laughs> what's the feeling <laughs> okay, okay okay like you know um fridays it just depend on the days okay okay, so, okay friday now you know fridays parties mm -hmm. you know you have to party so you, have, you just have to as a dj you just have to do the songs that will make your audience you know, on the dance floor that's just what you have to know and that's constant practice and experience and everything so you have to do constant research yeah constant research <laughs> constant practice 
to know the kind of vibe that was suiting everybody's vibes. Okay. Yeah, that kind of thing. All right, so um, Melody, darling. So I mean, you know, being a live band singer. So it's it's rare because you don't see that often, like you know, seeing people singing and all of that. So how do you think this will impact in your own aspect? It will impact or change other people or the world? Oh, of course. Music is very powerful. I tell everybody, just like you were saying just now, you have music is for the moment. You have to look at the moment and get into it, and it's communication as well, you know, in a formal way. So with the songs you sing for different events and different timing, you have to know what to sing and what you sing to motivate people. So I guess my voice has been very powerful because even when I was working for um, the Black Tuesday, I was the coordinator for Purpose Women and Asma James Foundation. I use my voice a lot because when we go out there, there are some moments I have to sing. And most times before I even talk, I have to sing. And I do motivational songs and these songs are have been blessing to souls, have been blessing to God, people, you understand? Because there are people who really love music. Mm -hmm. Even if you go there, you talk to them, but if you sing, I tell you, they'll be touched and they will have to transform their lives through that song. Yeah, I heard the Sierra Union say, um, Music Save Minds. That's his sure. name, MSM 1000. And most times when I think, I was like, Yes, this can be true because it people relate. Yeah, with the name Melody Joy I got from really when I was really into depression because there was a time I was really depressed. Music was the only thing I lived on. Like it's 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 been my 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 rescue uh, um, or what can I say? The remedy. It's been the pot I have drawn from throughout my life. It there were there were times I couldn't I couldn't sit with people but music has been there with me music i just sing and see myself lighting up see myself doing things extraordinarily so i believe if i use that voice if that can transform me definitely can transform another person yeah. because with music you have to feel it first before you transform it of course you see me that day now you see me you just see me like oh melody cool and everything yeah. but when i'm on the stage it's Totally yeah, you're so different lead. person. I know, right? So that's what music does. Music is a spirit. It's got its own spirit, and you have to know it. You have to live with it to know that this is the spirit. All right. So how would you actually boost the confidence? You know, having the confidence to perform. You know, sometimes people, when they get to the stage, they can be so nervous, and they'll just do it anyhow. But I mean, how do you have to? Buckle up yourself. It's my, my playground. It's my space. So definitely, most of the time, I tell people I'm a shy person, and they're like, "No, you're not shy." I said I am. Sometimes I can be shy, but then two two, two spaces, I am really myself. When you give me the podium to talk to motivate people, I am totally myself. When you give me the mic to sing, I'm totally myself. So I just feel myself. I don't see people at that moment. I just sing out of my soul and after it all then i oh that was me oh it was really me singing so that's how it is it's just like here you are you are you are yourself totally you can handle anything here so that's it's for us when we're in the music world when we're on the stage it's just that um uh, you know, it's just you being you because you, this exactly. is you for you exactly. all right exactly. so i mean melody and you talked about you coming with your single your first single pretty soon so let's talk about it a bit is there any collaboration what i've got collaborations expected? i've got um collaborations with um exclusive brothers if you go to youtube you'll see some of the songs exclusive brothers they're powerful um brothers they sing they've done well with music and of course i had a collaboration with crack twist zamza and stazi wow. um, it's called your ex oh yes these are no, big stars. You come in hard. No, I did the song like a year ago okay. with them. It's just that for me, I think you have to allow time sell you out. You don't force to be. You when when you're a star, you're a star. Yeah. You don't have to force things. Things so, come naturally. Yes. Yeah, so normally, even with my entertainment moves, I have I have been so careful with it because I'm a lady and I've seen the loopholes when it comes to entertainment with ladies. If you're not careful, you're doomed because. There are a lot of ups and downs for the ladies, so you have to be careful, especially when you're handling a whole lot of things. I am a mother, I am a motivational speaker, I am I am a whole lot of things. So music can just come and wipe all of those others for me. So I have to take my time, I have to be careful with what I do, where I go. So I think I need to, because music is expensive, I think I need to make money first and then I'll get it. Okay. 
I, I can see uh, all these collaborations from your new single and it's coming hard. It's coming. Okay, so I'm coming so um to you, DJ Cost Trouble. You know you featured um um Pete Weezy, Nak and some other artists. So what should we be expecting from you now in collaboration with Nigerians? Okay, um okay, I featured um Jews, but like you should be expecting the video. The video, yeah, the music video. Then uh, more, more. Okay, so how how I'm planning to do? I'm planning to do, like um, Sierra Leone, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Nigeria. So I've done it um, Nigeria now. So I'm going back to Sierra Leone. So like trying to mix both of them. One Sierra Leone, one Nigeria. Just like that. Okay, so I mean. Having all of this connection, and I heard you've been making big names in Nigeria and also Sierra Leone here. How being a this big jockey would inspire other people around you? Uh, inspire, okay. Um, it's gonna inspire them like with, with, with my mix because, okay, um, I have mix like I have love mix, I have true love mix that that is um. That is for the lovers. I have loves mix. I have um, Nigeria dancehall mix. I have different kind of mix. So if you if you maybe if you love, it's gonna inspire you. I have love of lovers mix. That's a true love mix. So I have different kind of categories of mix that you maybe if you if you want motivational mix, I have motivational mix. So I have different kind of mix. So it's gonna inspire you in different ways. So it's going to inspire in different ways. Yeah. All right. So since you've been in Sierra Leone since 2019, I yeah. mean, NG, have you gone to Nigeria? No, since then, no. But we're going this this December. Okay. So so going back to Nigeria, what are you taking home from Sierra Leone? I mean, to London. Sierra Leone. Uh, I'm going to teach them cassava leaf. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm going to teach them cassava leaf because um. Here in Nigeria, cassava leaf, you just plant cassava leaf just like that and it's just wasted. Yeah. We have a lot of cassava leaf, but they're just using the, the, the stem, like the yam and everything. So that's what they eat, but they don't yeah. eat the cassava, yeah. that is the leaf. So I'm going to teach them how to eat. A friend of mine told me that Nigerians think it's poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do the they think, think the that? It's very bad. The thing is bad, <laughs> like seriously. Okay. My my for my dad's side, my grandfather, like he has never eaten cassava leaf. So when he came to Nigeria, my mom cooked cassava leaf for him. So he ate it, he ate it, he ate everything. So when why uh, like why scooping the plates? Like my mom told him that he just ate cassava leaf. He wanted to. Why? <laughs> Why later when he said it was nice, you know it's nice. It's like um, cassava leaf, like it's it's um. It's good, it's good for the bodies. Alright, so is it your favorite? No, but it's my favorite. Okay, so, so, so but you want to teach them because yeah, of your mindset, yeah, you're changing their mindset. Their mindset their change, yeah. All right, if I'm granite soup, granite soup is not really common there, so I'm going to teach them granite soup. And so, so, are you saying you just <laughs> will go on to teach them about our food? Our food and the language, Creole, Creole, because like, like most of them, most of them, they, they hear Creole, but they can't speak it. Like uh, I have to um, teach them the culture, Creole. I'm just gonna teach them everything about Sierra Leone. Uh, yeah, everything you've learned. Everything you know. I've learned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we're running out of time, Melody. So, how many shows have you hosted so far? Okay. Um, last year I hosted in Silver Force. So that's mm -hmm. that was my first ever with the pageantry world, and mm -hmm. now I'm hosting. Miss Diamond in Kono. Mm -hmm. That will be next month, and of course this year, um, December again, I'm hosting Miss Wilberforce for, for, for the second edition. For the second edition. All right, so that's wonderful. So we're running out of time. What would be your final message to your fans, to people out there that might be watching? Of course, to my fans. I know you've been my support system since day one. This journey has started. Keep watching. Melody Joe is coming strong on the music side, and of course, concerning the pageantry. You have to give your support, and of course, big up to um, Orange. They are brand sponsors for the um, Miss Kono, Miss Diamond live in Kono. Come April, um, May third, that will be pretty day. So get ready and get your ticket. We we have buses. Don't worry, we will take you to Kono and bring you back. So it's free, free of charge. Of course, for all the entertainers or whosoever want to be with us okay. to um, Kono. 
So we're taking them right down Kono. Kono mm-hmm. is beautiful. So we're going to I've up, been to Kono. We're going to bring all the diamonds yeah. back in retail. <laughs> so keep watching and keep believing in yourself. Keep dreaming and work hard towards that dream. It will definitely come to us. And of course, I'm leaving this with you. I'll rise up. I'll rise like a day. I'll rise up. In spite of the ache, I'll rise up. And I'll do it a thousand times again. For you. For you. For you. Because of time, what will be your final message? Um, I'll, I'll say you guys should keep listening to DJ Cross Trouble. Um, listen to my mix. I have a lot of mix on Audio Mac. Then um, you can follow me on Instagram. And I want you to know that I have a lot coming for you guys. Uh, keep streaming DJ Cross Trouble. DJ Cross Trouble loves you. Peace. Okay, so your social media handles. DJ underscore Cross Trouble. DJ underscore Cross Trouble. Then um, on YouTube. DJ Cost Trouble on YouTube. And same goes to you. Yeah, Melody Joy um, on um, Facebook. Facebook. Melody Joy again on um, Instagram. And of course, um, Miss Wilbur Force on Facebook. And um, Melody's Hearts on Facebook as well. So you can catch me on all of those. Uh, thank you so much, guys. It's nice having you in same today's yeah. edition. Thanks I really so appreciate you for you having the invitation. All right, so viewers, this is how we draw the curtains down for today's edition of the Entertainment Vibe Show on Star Television Channel 21. As usual, thanks to my executive producer, Philip Neville Senior, and to my producer, who's no less a person, boy, yes, he has Halliwell, and to the technical team who's ensure the program becomes a success. My man calls Sabah, to you, Reginald Norman, and to everyone that has contributed immensely to the success of this program. I'm your host, Janet, and you can catch up with us on YouTube, Entertainment Vibes, and watch the repeat tomorrow, 11 p.m., on Star Television Channel 21. Have a wonderful weekend and Ramadan Mumbarak. Bye. How well do you know about African songs? The artists? The lyrics? Entertainment Vibes is here to take you through an exciting ride of African songs, not just Sierra Leone, but the entire Africa. Join me every Friday.